How do you read dialogue fluently? For example, like in this passage. In this lesson, you will learn how to fluently read dialogue in context by matching the dialogue to the characters. Let's review. When a reader reads out loud fluently, he doesn't read too fast or too slow. He reads all of the words correctly, and he makes his voice sound smooth and expressive. A common mistake is mixing up which character is talking. Often in books, when there's more than one character talking to one another in a conversation, authors don't repeat he said, she said, over and over and over. Sometimes it can get tricky remembering which character is talking. Here's a passage from Diamond Daniel. Listen to me read it. But my last name is Freeman and my first name is Reed. What's wrong with that? When's the last time you met some kid named Reed, especially a black kid? People always say to me, hey Reed, what are you reading? Or there goes Reed, reading again. Got it. That sounded really boring. I sounded like a robot. My voice didn't change at all when each character was speaking, which was confusing too. I didn't know who was saying what. I can read this passage with a lot more expression, and so that it's easier to understand who's speaking. First, I can notice who's speaking. I'll highlight the characters' names to help me remember. Then, I'll reread the dialogue and think about what each character is saying to try to identify who's speaking. I'll highlight the dialogue in different colors so I don't get confused. Then, I'll think about what I know about each character. Is she old or young, nice or mean, happy or sad? And I'll reread the passage out loud, and when each character speaks, I'll match my voice to that character using what I know about him or her. Watch me do one. Okay, here's another passage from Diamond Daniel. First, I'm going to notice who's speaking. I see the quotation marks, and I see the word said. Right after said, it says Diamond. That's one of the characters who's talking. I'll highlight her name in yellow. I also see Mrs. Cordell's name, so I know she's another character who's speaking. Now I'll go through line by line to figure out who's speaking and when. I'll only highlight what's in quotation marks because that's the dialogue. Mrs. Cordell said Diamond. Okay, so I'm going to first look at this first part that says just Mrs. Cordell. I know Diamond said that, so I'll highlight that in yellow. Then it says, yes, dear. Diamond wouldn't answer her own question, and she was talking to Mrs. Cordell, so I know that she must have said that, even though the text doesn't say said Mrs. Cordell after it. I'll highlight it in blue. What's the matter with the new boy with free? Well, I know it's Diamond's turn to talk, since this is a conversation between her and Mrs. Cordell, so she must be saying this. So I'll highlight that part in yellow. What do you mean, sweetie? Well, it says Mrs. Cordell right after this, and the narrators explain that she always calls everyone sweetie, and this is in response to what Diamond said, so I know Mrs. Cordell said this. I'll highlight that in blue. How come he's mad all the time? Well. This is Diamond clarifying what she just asked about free, so I'll highlight that in yellow. I don't know, Diamond. Why don't you ask him? Hmm. That is Mrs. Cordell's response. I'll highlight it in blue. Okay, so now my passage is highlighted, and I can easily tell who's talking, even though they're not labeled. Now I'll think about what I notice about each character. I'm going to jot my ideas down on sticky notes to help me remember. So first, let's think about Diamond. I notice she's talking to her teacher and she's asking questions about her classmates. That tells me that she's thoughtful because she's wondering about her classmates. Then I notice Mrs. Cordell is using words like dear and sweetie and she's talking to her student. I know Mrs. Cordell is an adult because it says Mrs. and I remember that she's Diamond's teacher. And I know that she cares a lot about her students because she uses words like dear and sweetie. Okay, so now I need to reread this passage and ma match my voice to the characters using what I know about them. I'm going to make my voice sound like each of them as I read. Mrs. Cordell, said Diamond. Yes, dear? What's the matter with the new boy? With free. What do you mean, sweetie? Mrs. Cordell called everybody sweetie. How come he's mad all the time? I don't know, Diamond. Why don't you ask him? So, here are the steps that I just did to help me read this passage with more expression. First, I noticed who was speaking and highlighted their names. I thought about what each character was saying to identify who was speaking. Then, I thought about what I knew about each character, and I matched my voice to them. 
In this lesson, you have learned how to fluently read dialogue in context by matching the dialogue to the characters.